Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca, I'm down for yoga. This is Rosie, Rosie Posey, the pug. She may be joining us today, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see how long she can handle it. Again, welcome to my channel. Thank you to all of you who are watching the videos. I noticed on one of my videos, there's over 200 views. It could be all my sister, so thank you, sister. But if it's not only my sister watching these videos, I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys, for hopping on and going on this yoga journey with me. I appreciate you so much. Just a regular, 50 something year old girl, lady, woman, whatever it is, trying to get in my yoga practice, but also wanting to share it with you. I started yoga in my late 40s and I'm in my 50s now. I'm gonna be 58 in just a few weeks. So um, yeah, we're doing yoga together guys. And we are seeing that anybody can do yoga and we don't have to look like a 20 something year old person doing yoga we're doing yoga and we're doing it our way and we're listening to our bodies um not to say anything bad about the 20 something believe me i wish i would have started yoga in my 20s i wish but i didn't and that's okay so today we're going to do about a 30 minute class so Get your mat, get a towel, get water, get a block. If you don't have a block, grab a book. That's just in case you need it. By the way, I just recorded a 45 minute video where the entire video, I cut off my head. So, <laughs> so we're redoing it. We're doing a 30 minute. That's what it's all about, right? Yoga is a practice. So let's practice together. So we'll start on our mat. You can lie down or sit up. You can sit against the wall, whatever feels good for you because we're just gonna breathe. We're gonna spend a couple minutes in our breath. So let's get settled in. Three-part breath. In our three-part breath, it's is if our bodies are a three-story building, as we're breathing, we're in that elevator, we're going up each story, we pause at the third floor as we exhale and come back down. It's three parts, okay? Three on the way up, pause, three on the way down. I like to visualize the building with the elevator. You do you, whatever feels good for you, but let's get started. Close your eyes, relax those shoulders, relax those jaws. Let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and inhale up in two, three, Pause, exhale, two, three. In, two, three, pause, exhale, two, three. Close your eyes and enjoy this breath. Keep going, in for three, pause, exhale for three. This just gets us settled in on our mats. It gets us into our yoga bubble, I like to call it. Remember your mat, this is your practice. Keep breathing. It just gets us into that mode that we need to be in. In this moment, while you're breathing, just think about maybe setting an, inten an intention for your practice can be very small. Maybe it's just to open up your heart, open up your minds, listen to your body. That could be your intention, just listening to your body. I like to say, listen to your body while it whispers before it screams. So nothing in yoga should hurt. Just a small little note here. 
please always ask your doctor before starting any type of exercise, um, whether it's yoga or whatever it is, please talk to your doctor about it. A lot of doctors will say, yes, yoga is fine, but please ask your doctor before you start. Otherwise, just sit here and breathe with us. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with just a little stretching first. Go ahead and take one hand down on the mat, take that other hand up towards the sky, look up, reach up. Always breathing either in through the nose and out of the nose or in through the nose and out of the mouth. It's totally fine too. Other side, reach up, look up. You're gonna feel a nice side body stretch here. Inhale, exhale. So yoga is all about joining the mind, the body and the breath. So in our practice today, we're gonna to join that breath with the body and hopefully the mind follows along also. Take those arms, reach as if you're reaching for me. Reach, 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 wiggle those fingers, shake those hands out as if you're shaking water off of your hands. Arms come behind you, reach behind, grab those fingers if you can. Open up the chest, bring those shoulder blades back towards the spine, sitting up nice and tall. Let's give ourselves a big hug. Reach those arms around ourselves. I like to kind of walk the fingers back towards the shoulder blades here, if you can see that. Nice deep breath, in through the nose and out through the nose. We're gonna re-wrap opposite arm on top. Unwrap those hands. Reach up with both hands, look up, reach, reach, reach. Hands meet at the top, come to heart center. Just taking a moment to feel connected to the ground, to your body, to your mind, to your breath. Let's get started. We're gonna start out hands and knees. If you need some padding for your knees, roll your mat up and put your knees on your mat that way or put a blanket down. We'll get started with cat cows. So we're gonna to come to hands and knees here. Make sure you're stacking those joints, guys. All the joints are stacked. We're inhaling for cow pose, exhaling for cat, finding that nice round spine here. Inhaling for cow, exhale for cat. And we'll be here for a few rounds. Keep going. What we're doing here is we're just finding some space in the vertebrae. We're warming up the back a little bit. On the cow pose, you're kind of letting everything just go in a sense. And on the cat, you're tucking everything in towards the spine. Stretch those shoulders here too. You can rock the hips back and forth in your cat pose. You can make little circles with those hips if you'd like. Back and forth. Just opening up everything. You're also warming up the wrists here. So in our yoga practice today, you're gonna to do a lot of holding up your own body weight. We hold up our own body weight, that's how we build that, the strength, okay? That's how you're gonna get those yoga arms. You're gonna work your chest, a little bit of your back, definitely the arms, the wrists. You can expect a little bit of Fatigue in the wrists when you first start doing yoga, uh, it does go away, okay? It does go away, I promise you. As the wrist starts getting stronger and stronger, uh, any pain you might feel in the wrist will go away. When you're on your hands, you wanna make sure those hands are wide open, okay? So you really wanna have that nice base for those wrists. Never cupping the hands, okay? Nice and flat. I shouldn't be able to even get a piece of paper underneath those hands, so think about that. So, let's do two more cat cows. And then we're gonna go right into what I call a half series flow. So a half series flow, we're gonna come into a modified plank. 
So we're here on our knees, modified plank. We're gonna lower down to the mat, but the elbows are nice and close to the chest. So we lower down, we hit that chin, chest, then belly, and come up into a baby cobra. And I just like to flatten the feet out a little bit. So we're here in our baby cobra, and then we're gonna use those arms, push our way back to that modified plank. Bring the knees up just a bit. Spread the knees out, put the big toes together, set back on the heels for your first child's pose. Grab your block. We're gonna put the block underneath the forehead. We're gonna reach those arms out in front of us. So this is our first child's pose. So we're just gonna set that tailbone back towards those heels. Take a few breaths. Again, we've got the block underneath the forehead. If you don't have a block, it's okay. You can set the forehead down. It's more of the crown of the head. It's more gonna be up here. Lower down, inhale back to all fours, come back to that modified plank, lower down, baby cobra, back to child's pose. So there's four movements here, four breaths. We inhale for plank, exhale, lower down, inhale, cobra, exhale, push back to child's pose. Let's try some. Inhale, modified plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Now keep this in mind. You can stay in child's pose this entire practice. If you need to stay in child's pose for this entire 30 minutes, stay in child's pose. It's your practice. I'm just guiding you through a practice. But if you feel like I'm just staying in child's pose, you must need it and you stay there. <laughs> we are okay with that, right? Inhale, modified plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, push back to child's pose. Now it's not gonna be that fast. So let's go nice and slow. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, push all the way back to child's pose. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, push back to child's pose. And then take a few breaths in child's pose. So that's a super nice warm up right there. That warmed up those arms, that warmed up the back, the abs, the low back. So that's a really nice place to warm up. You might feel it in the wrist a little bit. You can sit up and rotate the wrist back and forth if you'd like, shake them out. We'll come back to, child, uh, sorry, come back to all fours. We're gonna curl the toes under. We're gonna start lifting up to our first down dog. So lift up to down dog, lift the tailbone up, the knees are bent because we're not quite ready to straighten them out maybe. If you want, you can, we call this walking the dog. You just bend one leg at a time. Look up at the hands, make sure they're all starfished out. And then from this down dog, guys, we're gonna come into a full plank. Let's try a full plank. If it's not available, put the knees down. But if it is available, pull, push to full plank and then push to down dog. So if you're on your knees, take that moment, come back to down dog. In your down dog, your ears are on either side of the bicep. Shake the head out. You'll see me doing that a lot in my down dogs. Also, I like to play around in the down dogs by coming up onto the toes and down up and down. Notice how your body feels, listen to your body. Come back to that plank, full plank or modified. Hold it here. Back to down dog. Now let's try a little down dog plank flow. Here we go. Inhale plank. Exhale, down dog. Go at your own perfect pace. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Mm 
Knees come down, back to child's pose. This time take those hands behind you, palms up. Let's rest those shoulders right over those knees. Find your child's pose. We're taking a few breaths in child's pose, guys, here, because we want to really, I forgot to set my yoga watch, so I always want to know. Um, we really want to get those, those breaths in our child's pose. Again, that's your resting pose, right? Come back to all fours, curl the toes, downward facing dog. Now notice all the parts you're using here. Notice that you're holding your own body weight especially in that full plank. Check it out, take that full plank. Put the knees down. Regardless, you're still, look at this. You're strengthening those arms, chest, shoulders. Back to down dog. From down dog, we're gonna go ahead and raise that right leg. Reach that right foot, reach that right leg. Point the toe, let's rotate that foot to the right at the ankle joint. And then to the left. Bend that right knee, look under that right bicep. Take a few breaths. You're gonna notice that my breath is a lot heavier than what you would be feeling at home. Anytime you're talking and teaching, you're gonna be more out of breath. Right foot comes down, left foot raises. Extend that left leg. Rotate that foot one way and to the other. You're creating that synovial fluid in those ankle joints right now by moving those ankles back and forth. That fluid is what lubricates your ankles. Bend that left knee, look under that left bicep. Again, extend that leg, put that left foot down, come to full plank or modify. We're gonna take in a vinyasa here, guys. We're going to lower all the way down to the mat, flatten the feet, push up to cobra, just like we did in the half series flow. Exhale, back to child's pose. So go ahead and take a few breaths in child's pose. So in that half series flow, I was preparing you for your vinyasa. For the sake of this class and for most of this uh, channel, our vinyasas include coming all the way down to the mat, um, lowering down with the elbows close to the ribs, coming all the way down to the mat, that cobra, and either pushing back to child's pose or pushing back to downward facing dog, okay? So that's the vinyasa for the sake of our beginner yoga class. You'll see when you go to yoga classes, when people do vinyasas, they're different because they lower halfway down, they flip the toes, they come into up dog and then down dog, but for the sake of this class, we're keeping it low, okay? Keeping it real low. So come back from child's pose, back to all fours, curl the toes, bring it to down dog. Take your breaths in down dog, really reach that tailbone towards the sky or towards the ceiling. We're gonna do a couple more yoga poses here. So we're gonna reach that right leg up. We're gonna bring that right foot to the middle of the mat. It's not always easy, guys. It's really not. Sometimes you have to help it along, but do with your best. So see, I just helped that foot right to the middle. So I'm in this nice long lunge here. I'm gonna go ahead and set that knee down onto the mat. And then I'm just gonna bring my hands to the top of the knee. And we'll relax my shoulders. Smile, because I'm doing yoga. Flatten that back foot, find a little bit more balance here. So when I say that, I mean it's gonna take you off balance a little bit, and that's okay. We're trying to find balance. Then we're gonna take the hands down to the mat, take that right knee to meet the left, curl the toes, downward facing dog. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Lift that left leg. Bring that foot forward. Again, it's ch I'm choppy, I know it. Right knee comes down. Hands come to that knee. Good. 
This is why I wish I would have started yoga in my 20s. <laughs> so I've been doing yoga for a long time, but I always feel like, you know, we all have different issues in our tissues, right? We all have different things we're dealing with. So we're not gonna look the same. And we're not gonna look like everybody on the other YouTube videos, and that's okay too. We're just doing the best we can, right? We're moving the body. Hands come down to the mat, left foot meets right, curl the toes, come to down dog. Believe me, you get more and more smoother as you go. As the body wakes up, warms up, the more you practice. We're down facing dog, lifting that right leg once again. Right foot comes through. See, it gets less choppy. This time we're not putting that knee down on the ground unless you want to. We're coming right to the knee. Hands on top of that right knee. That right knee is right over that ankle, guys. Never overextending. Just holding it right over as your safest bet. Look up. Shoulders are relaxed. <sighs> Big stretch, right? Now you can still be on your knee. Don't think that you can't be on that knee. Hands come down. Right foot meets left. Downward facing dog. Right foot raises, right foot comes through. <laughs> Come right to the top of that left knee. Relax the shoulders, smile. You're using your own body weight to hold up your body weight here. Building strength here. Balance, strength. Hold it here. I always try to give my left side a little bit tiny, a little tiny bit more because I'm a weaker on my left side. Left foot meets back. Downward facing dog. Let's throw in a vinyasa. Modified plank or full. Lower all the way down. Cobra. And flip the toes. Downward facing dog. Let's do that again. Plank. Lower down, flatten the feet, cobra, flip the toes, downward facing dog. There's your vinyasa. Right leg raises, right foot comes through, come right up into crescent. Hold your crescent pose. If your arms are tight, put the arms and uh, hands together. Hold the arms forward for crescent. You are getting into the glutes right now, the thighs, the calves. Your core is strong. Arms are raised. Hands come down to the mat. Right foot meets left. You're back to downward facing dog. Let's do a vinyasa. Inhale for plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Curl the toes. Downward facing dog. Getting warmed up. Left leg comes up. Left foot comes through. Bring it right up to that crescent pose. Again, the knees can be on the floor, guys. You can be doing your crescents modified. Holding for a little bit longer on the left side. Nice deep breaths. In through the nose and out through the nose. Hands come down. Left foot meets right. Vinyasa, either modified or full. And downward facing dog. Or child's pose, guys. If you want to take it to child's pose, take it to child's pose. We're going to be here for a couple breaths. The heart rate starts coming up, okay? So I'm at almost at 120 right now on my heart rate. Now granted, yes, because I am talking at the same time, it definitely can affect the heart rate. But yoga is a workout. And doing this, holding up your own body weight, it's gonna strengthen your arms, it's gonna strengthen your chest, back, come back to down dog, shake the head out, 
Right leg raises, right foot comes through. Bring it right to that crescent once more. Sneak into this crescent pose. Let's try a warrior two. So we're gonna spin that left foot down. We're gonna rotate that left arm behind us, reaching with that right. Find a nice strong warrior, check in with those hands, check in with that leg. That knee needs to be right over that foot. You'll notice sometimes your knee will go in. Keep it, you only wanna really see your big toe and the second toe. Hold your warrior two. Strong warrior, strong fingers. Hands cart low down. Right foot means left. Let's go into that vinyasa. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. We're taking a few breaths in dog, down dog once again. Left leg raises. Left foot comes through. Bring it right to that crescent pose, guys. Crescent, guys and gals. Holding crescent. Right arm comes back. Right foot swivels for warrior two. Check in with that leg. You should be able to only see those two toes or so. Be, be mindful of your abs too, guys. Bring in that core, stable core. Warrior two. Arms cartwheel down. Left foot meets right. Vinyasa, take it or leave it. You can stay in down dog or take that vinyasa. Meet in down dog. From our down dog, guys, come to hands and knees. Take the knees apart. Big toes together for child's pose. Hands behind you this time. back to all fours. We're going to go ahead and take a seat. The legs are out in front of us. Shake out those legs. Take that left foot into the right. Take that right foot to the corner. We're going to take a nice stretch over this right leg. Hands come on either side. Inhale up. Exhale, stretch over that leg. Don't try to get too deep on this one. Just listen to your body. It's a little bit of a torso twist here, but don't go crazy. We'll take a few breaths. You can flex the foot, point the toe, flex, point. We're gonna walk ourselves back up, switch legs. Sit that nice and tall. Now this could be enough for you. Just, be, just sitting in this position could be enough. Getting a hip stretch here, nice long leg stretch here. If it's not enough, you're taking the hands on either side, inhaling up, exhale, come over that leg. Again, we're gonna be different on each side, that's okay. Bring yourself back up to a seated position. Let's go ahead and take soles of the feet together. Bring the heels closer to the body. You can hang on to the ankles, the shins, the feet. You can give yourself a nice foot massage here. Sit up nice and tall though. No rounding the back here, okay? Nice flat back. Smile because you get to do yoga. I'm telling you, I smile all through my practice as much as possible. I'm just happy to get to do it, so, and really happy to get to share it with you. We're gonna take the legs out nice and wide, sit up nice and tall. If it's helpful, you can sit on your block, 
or you can sit on a blanket or another mat or your bolster. That's gonna give you a little bit of an angle so that when you're trying to stretch those legs out, it's a little bit easier. You can walk the hands forward. Nice deep inhale, exhale, float into this. Try to keep the back straight as much as possible. We're hinging at the hips here, not rounding the back. Flex the feet if you'd like, or just leave them be the way they are. Again, I'm just gonna show you guys, if you're sitting on your block, it's just gonna give you, <laughs> can't really get on there. It's just gonna help you get a little bit deeper into that stretch because of that angle especially for those of us who have really tight hamstrings. If you sit at your desk most of the day, you might have tight hamstrings. A daily yoga practice will be amazing for you, but even if you come to yoga even twice a week, it's gonna help with your flexibility. Remember guys and gals, we don't come to yoga flexible, but we leave a little bit more flexible. I hear that all the time. I can't come to yoga. I can't do yoga because I'm not flexible. That's silly. We don't, we're not flexible unless we do yoga. Most of us are not naturally flexible. So yoga will help you to become more flexible. Go ahead and bring it in guys. Cross the legs if it feels comfortable for you today. We're gonna do one more thing before we end class. We're gonna, sorry, I was looking at my timer and I know we just passed 30 minutes. Take that right hand on the left knee, or for you, it's gonna be opposite. Left hand behind you, inhale up, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale up on the exhale, twist. Now, why do I say that? Why do I do that? I like for you to inhale to prepare, exhale to go into the twist because you're more relaxed. So let's try it on the other side. First, that hand comes to behind you. For me, the left hand is on the right knee. It looks opposite to you. Inhale up, exhale, twist to the right. And then you just breathe here, nice, easy breath. Inhale up, exhale, come back to center. So those twists are gonna be really nice and detoxifying. They just kind of wing everything out a little bit. You'll feel really good after your twists. We can also do those lying down, which is really nice. But for the sake of today's class, just take a moment, sit in your thoughts or lie down. Take your Shavasana, which is your resting pose. Take it for a minute or two, something for you. In this time, think about what your intention was for your class today. Think about who you dedicated your class to. Think about them again. Just take a moment to set an intention for the rest of your day. Appreciate your mind, appreciate your breath and your body, feel grateful. I'm grateful for you showing up on your mat today. Thank you for showing up for our class. And with that said, my light season honors the light in you. Namaste.